Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Mike, Falco's Flips. I'm a reseller based in Northwest England. I buy things and resell online, mainly on eBay. So this video is a little bit different to my usual kind of video. It's about me doing up my shed, so it's better for reselling, uh, better for storing stuff in, and hopefully in the future will be better for kind of making videos in, maybe packing in. Um, so I know a lot of people have done this kind of video before where they, you know, they even buy a shed or they build a shed and, you know, a lot of resellers have kind of done this, but, uh, I feel it's something I've been meaning to do since I started and it's only recently I kind of got time with like the lockdown and everything to actually kind of do it. So I did it a few weeks back. It's a work in progress. It's not 100% done even now. But uh, you'll see, yeah, keep watching and you'll see the transformation. I'll be doing my usual videos after this. Uh, my next video will be, you know, the normal kind of thing. Okay, so here we are. I'm about to do the shed. Um, long time coming. I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like now. Not a pretty sight, to say the least. Check it out. It's a bit dark, so I don't know how much you can see. There we go. So I've got a few shells in here. Just down this side. Got loads of stuff everywhere. I mean, I've got boxes and boxes and boxes everywhere. Just at one point it was tidy and okay. And over time, not so much. Um, we've got things like an exercise bike back there. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Got a weight bench back there. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, got like prams, old prams and stuff. And here we've got like a stack of. We've got like a. That's a bit for a pram. We've got two Moses baskets. We've got like a cot and some cushions for sofas and just all sorts. But I'm going to do my best to remove most of this stuff if not all of it but we will see i'm going to try and move as much as i can into my attic so that this space is a bit more open and usable um maybe so i can do packaging in here not sure but we've got all this polystyrene which i've been saving up i've been getting it wherever i can i've got a load from facebook marketplace people were giving it away free i've got a little bit from work which they said i could take some and um just you know just generally from wherever i've been able to get it i've been hoarding it and yeah hopefully this is going to be enough to fully insulate this shed um i've got some foam for any gaps i've got some aluminium tape and then i'm going to get some board and i'm going to board over it now i'm not an expert at this i've just had a look on youtube and I look online and you know there's many people out there that have done it the way I'm doing it it's probably not the best way of doing it this is never going to be a building that I'm going to use you know with electric and stuff it's not going to have electric going to it or heating or anything like that it's just still going to be a shed basically but it's just going to be a bit nicer um I've got some carpet here which was we've recently changed the carpet in our hallway so that will be going down in here um, it's not great but it's better than nothing so it's going to be a bit of a mission just to kind of get all that stuff in the attic it might take me the full day just doing that but we'll have to see and then i got some of these storage boxes so just there, i'll show you them they're just outside <clears throat> just here so i was to be honest, could have done with being a bit bigger, like up to here maybe, and then out to like here. But they get expensive once you go past this size. You're talking like 100, 150 pounds each, which I can't really justify paying. Um, not at the moment anyway, but these should be good enough to for what I need at the moment. They'll, this isn't gonna be like for stock or anything. This is just gonna be for you know, garden equipment probably like bubble wrap and cardboard boxes and stuff. Uh, these were, I think they were 40 pounds each, so 80 all in. 
um, either from eBay or from Amazon. I think they're from eBay. And this is the stuff I'm using. Some expanding foam. This is like no more nails type stuff uh, for holding the polystyrene in place. Um, this is for like between pieces of polystyrene, um, just to kind of give a bit of a bit of a kind of seal on it. I'm going to put you on time lapse. See you a bit later on. Okay, so we've made a start, check it out. A lot of this is gonna end up in the attic. And this is what we're up to. This bit's clear. I'll probably end up pushing this right up to here. But we'll see, we'll see. It's gonna, we'll see how it looks as we're going along. Um, you know, I can change things as needs be. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, so we're getting there. We can see the back now. Once everything is out, it's, it's a fairly decent size, really. I mean, I'm I'm like six one, and you know, I've got clear kind of head clearance, even up to like here. So that's pretty good. But we'll have to get some lighting in here. At the moment, I've just got this, which only comes on when it's like pitch black, which is handy, but not ideal. Um, so I think maybe get some kind of LED lights, kind of at intervals up here with a remote. That'd be good. A few things are gonna have to come back in here. Like my weight bench is not, you know, there's nowhere else I can put that. It's probably gonna have to go back in this corner. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna carry on with it. Um, up to now, I think it's taken about an hour and a half. So I'm glad I took two days off work to do this because I'm gonna be hard pressed to do it as it is. Um, my partner's helping me as well. But even so, I mean, it's uh, we're looking after our little one at the same time, and our other son is at school. So we're picking him up in a few hours, so, and then probably we'll continue doing this um, until it starts to get dark, I guess. So I think I need a tea, I need a tea. Right, let's continue. Okay, so here we go, it is empty, empty shell. So yeah, what we need now, or what I need to do now, is to de-spider this place, because we've got some pretty mammoth spiders about. And, yeah. Not a fan. I'm, I'm not that, you know, not like arachnophobic or anything. I just would rather than not be here, really. So, they're everywhere. So, goodbye, spiders. Goodbye, spiders. And then I'm going to set you up somewhere amongst the spiders, maybe up here or something, while I uh, get this place clear. In fact, I'm going to put you up here. 
just like this. Something like that. Okay, so this is what my garden currently looks like. Yeah, so the shed is now completely bare and completely clean ready to go. I think I'm going to start by doing the polystyrene on the walls, um, filling any gaps. I'm going to do polystyrene on the ceiling as well, between the joists, and then I'm going to board it. I'm not sure about the ceiling because of the, because it's quite a large um, clearance there. If I board that, I'm going to be losing quite a bit of room. Not sure yet, but I'll definitely be boarding the, the side walls just with a very, very thin board just to save room, basically. Again, I'm not going for anything amazing here. It's just to make it a bit, a bit nicer to be in. Yeah, so I keep asking Alexa, is it going to rain today? Is it going to rain today? No rain, no rain. It won't rain until 11 p.m. And even then, there's only a 51% chance. Well... What do you think? It looks like it's gonna rain to me. I've got all this stuff out here. That would be a disaster. So I'm gonna eat my lunch as quickly as I can and get back to it. So I'll see you shortly. So cutting down all this polystyrene, it's taken a while to do it, to be honest. Um, it would have been quicker with that board you can buy from B&Q, the polystyrene board, but it would have cost me a fortune and I would have had issues getting it back from B&Q in the quantity that I wanted. Okay, yeah, so this is where we're up to. Polystyrene, foam in between. I think I'll be able to kind of cut this flush when it's dried, I think. Um, it's not the end of the world anyway because I'll be boarding over here anyway so it won't make much difference um, so yeah it's taken it's taken about half an hour 45 minutes just to do that bit and there's all this and the roof still to go I'm still hopeful my plan was that I get all the polystyrene done today that was my plan and it's about half two uh so time's ticking on but it's possible it's possible um problem is i've got all the stuff outside still so that's all gonna have to come back in apart from the stuff that i'm putting in the attic the rest of it's all gonna have to come back in at least overnight until until tomorrow when i'm gonna finish it all off also, I've got much of this stuff left. I bought three sticks of it. It would be enough, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna have to head out and get some, um, which is gonna eat into my time as well. And this is gonna be a bit of a work in progress over the next few weeks anyway, like, because I, I intend to get some kind of lighting in here. It won't be electrics, it won't be like, you know, proper lights. It'll be like LED, battery powered ones. Um, I'm going to have like just sort of shelving all the way along here although I may make this corner like a kind of a goods in wood type area all right just here so as you come in 
this area will be like stuff I've just bought from the car boot. You know, maybe a big shelving unit here for it, I'm not sure. Or maybe just a couple of boxes or something. And then over here, just some general shelving. Back wall, not sure. And along the window, not sure. I suppose if I was going to have some kind of photo area, which I don't think I will, I don't think there'll be room for that, it would be here in front of the window. But we'll see. Hey guys, I'm not sure why, but the time lapse didn't work then. So this is where I'm up to now. I'm going to try again. I'm going to set you up over here. And hopefully it will work this time. Okay, so we're pretty much there in regards to the polystyrene. You'll see that there's gaps. I still need to kind of fill a few gaps and then use some of this stuff. Used a bit too much on that one. Um, and I've got these bits to do as well. These bits at the end at the top, as well as the ceiling. But, I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly losing the will to live. It's not like that difficult, it's just a bit like mind-numbing doing it, to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. I'm pretty much out of the grip fill stuff, like the no more nails, so... If I'm going to do any more today, I need to go to B&Q. So I may well nip to B&Q, get some more of that, and get some of the thin board that I'm going to use. Um, I need to measure up to see how much I'm going to need. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to time lapse anymore right now. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'm going to keep. I'm going to fill the gaps. See what time it is. See where we're at and go from there. So just another quick look at what we're up to. I do have some aluminium tape, which once I've filled the gaps and then cut off any excess, I think I'm gonna use the aluminium tape to just kind of, you know, put the, the gaps in between each bit and down the edges. Um, I believe that that will help quite a bit with the ins you know with how well insulated this shed is. Okay, so this is how we're looking right now. I've obviously had to move as much as I can back in overnight. Um, it has rained overnight, and uh, yeah, but it's okay. It's stopped raining now. Yeah, I got the carpet down. You can just about see it. And yeah, so I'm gonna go and get the board shortly. I think I've decided not to board the roof at the moment anyway. I'm gonna still polystyrene it, but I'm gonna leave it like that, at least for now, and see how we go. I mean, the roof is something I can do at any stage, really. I don't need to, I wouldn't need to move everything out to do it. Um, whereas the walls, obviously, it's a different, uh, it's a different matter. Okay, so next stop, B and Q. Just about to set off. There used to be a B and Q just to right down the road from me, and they closed it down a couple of years ago, which is really annoying.
so that's 3.6 mil. That's 15.48 a sheet. Hmm. Is there a cheaper option? This stuff, which is thinner, considerably cheaper. See, potentially this would be best. But it's like double the price. And it's going to cost me, it would cost me like 180 quid if I was to get that. It, you know, especially if I'm not going to paint it, you know, that obviously looks a lot nicer than the other stuff. Right, so let's load up then. Okay guys, so the moment of truth is this. Gonna fit in my car. I have my doubts. <laughs> I just bought one before I go and buy the other 20. What do we reckon? Hmm, it's gonna be tight. It's about the same height as me, so could I lie down there? Move the seat forward, I think. A bit. Hey, there we go. Hey. Put that angle. Uh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Thank God for that. I mean, I could have. I brought a saw and the standing knife in case I need to cut it down the last thing I wanted to do is start cutting it all down here 20 odd sheets so yeah, right, let's go and get the others Okay, so next stop home. It's like already like 11 o'clock gone or something, so we're gonna have a busy one today. Maybe into the night. We'll see. Let's go for it anyway. Hey guys, so I'm back from being Hugh and I'm just kind of filling in the last few holes and I've also done the doors. Well, pretty much, I've still got that bit to do. I'm um, just in the process of starting the ceiling as well. Should be working, but proper time. Yeah, I need to get to it. Right, let's do it. Hey guys, so I'm still at it. It's taking ages to get this bit done. All I have left to do now is this bit up here, all the way along, and this bit in the middle and but then i still need to go around fill any other gaps that there are i've been doing that as i go to some extent but there's a few gaps here and there i'll keep seeing and then i need to get my silver tape and tape up any other gaps there may be tape between the polystyrene and then we'll be ready for the board um but I'm quite looking forward to the board sections, although it's going to be a bit of a jigsaw to kind of get it all to work because each joist, it's not all lining up. You know, they're not, it's not the same distance between each joist. Yeah, anyone out there who's like a tiler or like a roofer, I have a new respect for you. I mean, this, this is bad enough <laughs> as it is, but... Anybody who does a job like that all day needs a medal. I couldn't do it. Yeah, so it's definitely definitely autumn winter now. Cause I don't know if you can see but got a load of geese flying south. Don't know if you can make that out or not.
just any excuse to stop doing this show, just to be, to be honest. Let's carry on. Okay, so it's like half six now, and pretty much had enough. <laughs> but uh, I've done the tape where it's needed. I can't take credit for that. That was my partner's done all the tape while I've been kind of filling in holes and yeah, there's still a little bit on the, on the roof, a few bits that need filling, but we're going to try and, you know, the roof can kind of be done whenever to some extent, whereas, you know, the walls kind of need to get done so that we can move, start moving stuff back in. So that's where we're at. Just about to start uh, putting the first few boards on. It's getting dark, so I don't know how long I'm going to keep going for. But, uh, yeah, I do kind of just want it to be over now. I'm not going to lie. I haven't done much boarding, but this is the worst part of the whole shed, like around this window. Um, it's just difficult to, to cut, to fit. Hey guys, so it's a few days later, it's a Monday and I'm in the shed again. I'm gonna get everything out I think, or everything bar, like this centre bit with all the stuff on it, leave them where they are. But everything else, pretty much, is gonna come out. Hopefully, by the end of today we'll be a bit closer to finishing. I'm hoping to have it all done by tomorrow. End of tomorrow, I'm hoping it'll be done. Minus the lighting. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple, a few lights and, a, and some more shelving. I'm gonna buy some more shelving. Hey guys, so yeah, it's about five o'clock now. We've been at it for a few hours. And this is where we're at. It's looking pretty good, I think. All the way along there is done. Over there is done. The backs of the doors. And we're just doing this corner. And the bit down here, uh, I've taken it off because it looks pretty bad. Okay, so here we are again, it's Tuesday. Probably the most annoying part of this is having to take everything out and put it all back in overnight. Because this is what it looks like now. Everything here. And we've still got loads of stuff all under a tarpaulin. So hopefully today's the day where we get this done okay so we are pretty much there i just wanted to show you what it kind of looks like now before we fill the whole thing up with stuff well we already we've already started but yeah i think this is going to be like the goods inward area So check it out. This is what we're looking like in here right now. Well, most of the ceramics and stuff are over here. Got a few electricals like that TV I got to test video games. At some point I plan to have this permanently set up somewhere to test things. few VCRs, boombox, some tripods. Does anyone else struggle selling tripods, by the way? I've got three, and I've had, like, absolutely no interest in them. Uh, I got them for very, very cheap, so I can't really complain too much, but I thought they'd, uh, I thought they'd go pretty, pretty quickly. Plus the kind of, like, vintage ones. So everything that's in here has been photographed so you know the stuff is only going to make it on these shelves when it's photographed i 
apart from stuff over here this is all stuff to be listed to be photographed uh, this is all clothing which i've recently got i got it all for free it's a um it was my brother's stuff he was getting rid of it all so i've kind of taken it all to try and get a few quid um there's a few decent pairs of jeans in there so they might go okay uh this is still here of all the bits yeah like boxes over here we've got these are all full of ceramics the two on the bottom they've been listed and one on the top um, none of that is listed in there so i need to go through all that and here we have just a load of storage we've got bags and polystyrene tape big plastic bags and a few more boxes here yeah, we need to make, we need to give it a bit more character in here, don't we? In time, we will do that. Maybe like some pictures up here might be nice, or like on the back wall, just to make it a bit more, I don't know, a bit more interesting to look at. Anyway, for now, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.